So uh, the palace. So the palace. Um, the palace again. It was. Uh, it was everything you would think. You know, in terms of just how how it was made and how fucking big it was, and and the the attention to detail that was put into constructing that fucking thing was mind boggling. Now, did you get any? Uh Souvenirs by yeah, chance? Yeah. There, there were no souvenirs to be had. Uh, yeah, zero. So, all right. Uh, it's completely empty. Nothing to it. <laughs> nothing and, to uh, see here. Nothing to see here. And uh, there, there. So, I mean, in all seriousness, it, it was mostly vacated. Uh, in that, you know, that was while it was his hometown. Uh, it was not a palace that he spent a lot of time in. So it wasn't like filled with Saddam's personal effects like like the Baghdad palaces were. There was stuff in it, uh, but not, you know, again, not like he was living there all yeah. the time like the ones that he did in Baghdad. But um, I know, uh, I mean, I don't, there was a lot of good shit in some of those palaces. Like, So I've heard. Yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so the, uh, yeah, the palace was, it was again, it was, uh, in, in terms of actually taking it down, it took a couple of hours. It, it wasn't, you know, some heavily guarded fucking institution. At that point, it was that part of the town was a ghost town. Again, I think th there were there were indicators that, um, you know, that people had been there recently, just like a lot of the other places, but had just left. And, you know, thinking of it now and, and looking back on it is that, you know, to have a, a crew of, uh, you know, almost 30,000 U.S. soldiers, many of whom in armored vehicles, rolling up towards you know how I don't care how many of you are there are in a palace like they're either going to knock the palace down or you know whatever like you're you're not going to stand a chance and so I think the pockets of resistance that we did run into were you know we either caught them off guard or they were just seeing you know how how hard we would fight back or go after them or or whatever but there weren't these like epic fucking four hour gun battles you know they were they were shots here and there and it was no. Uh, you know, no real fucking dug in and, and, you know, pulling fucking grenade pins and dragging people out of, out of buildings. It, it just wasn't that, you know, yeah. for, for that. But uh, once we secured the palace, though, <clears throat> then we kind of set up shop there. And at that point, like, we were finally done moving through the country. You know, we, we had spent that entire time in country constantly, you know, bump, bumping forward and coming back and bumping forward and coming back, moving our way from from the, the southern edge of the country all the way to the north. So, I mean, in that respect, it was kind of neat to have fought our way the entire way of the, the entire fucking country uh, during that initial invasion period. But um, but once we got to the palace and took it down and set up shop there, then we were, we were static, and, and that's where we were the static uh, for the most and for the longest. And so we started doing, like, some sniper overwatch shit. We'd go out in town from there and... Uh, you know, and, some, and set up similar operations of, of kind of what we were doing down in Nazaria uh, and in the southern part of Baghdad of just kind of going out and getting our own intel and figuring out what the fuck's going on. And if if anything was to be had or to be done, then then we did it. But um, there was a 24-7 uh, watch on the rooftop um, because it was the highest point in the city. And I remember the Air Force had bombed the shit out of the uh, the airfield in Tikrit, which underneath it had a cache of, I wouldn't even call it a cache, I would say it was a weapons storage facility of, you know, mu like legit airplane munitions and, and big fucking explosives. And so at nighttime, because they bombed it, you know, all the stuff was going off sympathetically for like fucking two weeks. You know, shit was blowing up nonstop. And, and if you looked at like thermal or... Uh, or even on night vision, like it looked like you were staring at uh, the surface of the sun during like a solar flare flare up. You know, it was just like shit was blowing up fucking nonstop all over the place. Yeah. So it was almost like watching this crazy fucking, you know, uh, apocalyptic, you know, firework show. Yeah. But as we're fucking around and me and this guy that, you know, again, was the IS that, uh, that accompanied us, uh, we're sitting there and all of a sudden, just off to the left and probably five or 600 yards away, you see three little flashes of light. And I was like, did you see that? And he's like, yeah. I was like, what the fuck was that? He's like, I don't know. And then all of a sudden, straight south of us, about 300 yards, boom, boom, boom. And it was like, I mean, we both kind of look at each other and you see three more blips. And then about fucking 200 yards south of us, fucking three big explosions. 
Sure. And then three more blips, and then now it's just fucking south of us. Three more big explosions, and we're and as soon as we look at each other, like, dude, we got to get the fuck off this rooftop. Yeah. Just as we're starting to go bail down, all of a sudden on the other side of I can't remember if it's the Tigris or the Euphrates, whatever the fuck river that uh, that his palace is on in Crete. All of a sudden, from the other side of the river, it sounds like. Um, a fucking transformer is having a seizure, right? Like Optimus Prime is fucking getting his ass pushed in. I don't know. Like it's this weird fucking rumble and whiz and fucking metal moving. And and then you just hear boop, 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 you know, like and all these flashes of light from across the river and where those three blips came from just fucking decimated. We didn't even know they were there. There was an army uh, counter artillery battery across the fucking river set up with their fucking whiz bang goddamn satellites and whatever the fuck else. And and it it took three iterations for them to pinpoint where they were and then they just fucking nailed them. We had no comms with them. Like I said, we didn't even know they were there. Jesus. I mean I wouldn't be fucking sitting here hundred percent if they hadn't been there. Cause we I mean we couldn't have got off that rooftop. The way it was situated and the way that we were up there, it would have taken us probably 30, 40 seconds to even get just on the first part of the stairwell to, to get down off of there and, and we'd have been fucked. Yeah. You know, um, but, uh, yeah, just one of those fucking lucky moments, I guess. But a lot of those, 